Hey, George D. Red Rocket here. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short for you so you're not watching the video over and over this 15 minutes long. Uh, first things first, change that over to uh, um, vehicle, not infantry. You're not going to be hit by infantry a whole lot anymore. And even if you are, machine guns are going to take them out as long as you can get rid of your tanks that are coming in. So, and don't keep these at level 1 or 2. Don't upgrade them to level 3. 10 to 15 mines is plenty. Um, you're just wasting XP after that. Uh, you just have to reload them more often. That's all. So, it's not doing any more damage or anything like that by upgrading uh, your mine levels. Now, upgrading your my actual mines does not take XP, so upgrade those up as high as you can go. Um, your transformers, this one here, move outside the wall over here, or even where this mine's at. Your... You're underutilizing them a little bit. I mean, you got them split up two and two, one one per two turrets. So, but you got what, 55%, 55%. So, about 27% increase per turret. Um, now, if you take both of those and put them individually under your railguns, that will increase your railguns to 55%. So. And with your rail guns inside, they're going to get two, maybe three shots off before they're dead. Um, so that's going to destroy uh, tanks when they come in and vehicles. They don't do a lot for infantry, but you got machine guns there to cover the infantry. You could even switch one of these over to a mortar. Mortars don't do a whole lot until they're level four. Um, so you can stick with the rail guns. It's not going to hurt nothing. Uh, if you move this outside, you can move this away from the mountain. Uh, the thing is with it being by the mountain, if you see yourself getting hit by any mortarmen, the mortarmen can sneak in behind that mountain and hit the mortarmen or hit the factory. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. They're just going to keep hitting it and not get hit themselves. Another thing to work on, getting at least one flak. You need to get at least one flak, CC3. Um, if you can level it up to level 2, that's great. I don't know if that's still level 4 or CC4. But the flak's going to help with uh, if you're getting hit by air units a lot. Um... Let's see here. So if you want to utilize this transformer and only do it on the MG or on the RG, all you gotta do is just move that machine gun someplace else or um, slide this transformer over on the other side of this wall, slide this closer to that wall and then move your MG to where the transformers at um, the MG should still cover the railgun as far as um, the distance and stuff your base looks pretty good though um, if you want more maneuverability you can get rid of these two um, barriers and move them outside someplace maybe say you um so you want to protect this rg a little bit more if you slide it out close to this barrier um you can move this down to the corner where this is at and then uh have two barriers right here um let's see here This here, 
it's it's not in a bad place trying to protect your barracks um, you could also move this MG over in this area somewhere and then move this out a little bit to help protect the machine gun um, You can play around with it a bit. I mean, you're still a low level. I'd move this out further away from the walls. It's not going to do any good that close. Um, I mean, you can even take one of these here. If you remove these walls, you might be able to slide one of these into the middle somewhere. Which means if they get into the center, then they're going to get hit by that as well. My base used to be set up like that. Um, with two of them in the center. It worked out really well. Uh, not really a whole lot more. You got everything spread out good. You're utilizing both transformers. Um, not a whole lot more to really say on this. But it's just playing around. The higher level you get and stuff, the more playing around you're going to do. Definitely want at least one flak, personally. Um, mortar I wouldn't worry about too much use your railgun or change it over to a MG but the railguns are fine um, they're easy to take out for a chopper or something like that but where you have them they ain't gonna get hit by choppers unless one until like if they check take out this railgun or this machine gun right here first then a chopper can come in hit this without being hit and hit this without being hit and then all they got to deal with is one more machine gun so a um, couple things to think about so your defense platoons are good um, utilize your full platoons if if you're having trouble with uh, your platoons getting out um, that's fine I mean the only way they're not going to get out at least one or two of them is if uh, they're hitting you with Reapers and taking out both of them at the same time. But, uh, so yeah, add some more S13s in here after your uh, tank. The tank will slow them down a little bit, but with the way you have everything blocked in, that's great. So I appreciate it, man. Welcome to SOG. Good luck.